Howdy there, partner. I'll be the Shattered Reaper, and I may not be the fastest gun in the West, but I sure as hell am one of the hardest hitting guns in the West. But also, fuck the West, because. Anyway, that joke has already been done because Jin ain't even a cowboy. Why am I even doing a western joke? Is it because I felt like confusing a hand cannon and a revolver? Come on now. Anyway, that 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 little bit of joke that that, that joke out of the way. Uh, we are going to be showing off a little bit of League of Legends gameplay where I do pretty good. I do pretty good. This is the first time I've ever played Jin and. Uh, I decided that uh, since the results seem to have been very well, I thought I'd show it off a little bit to you guys. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just start the gameplay, see how everybody starts off. And uh, here is the team. We got me, myself as Jin, in my fine ass cloak. Uh, we got Master Yi. We got uh, Galio, I think. I think that's his name. Ilio, and uh, we also got uh, Lee Sin. I I'm obviously going to be taking my time a little bit because I'm just trying to read up on his moveset because, again, this is my first game playing as him. And uh, then I eventually, after everybody leaves, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get my starter items. Uh, but yes, we are going to be working with Lee Sin as our support, and uh, we are going to be facing up against uh, Robotic Spider Guy and Darius. You can't expect me to know all of their names. Come on now. Um, anyway, so uh, I actually kind of enjoy playing as Gene, not just because he is a hard-hitting, awesome, badass dude uh, with a hand cannon, but it's also because there's a... Um, okay, so I go over here, as you can tell, and uh, I immediately get myself ganked a pretty decently hard. Um, I first level up the W because I thought that was a different ability and I thought that would be a good ability to level up. I have to use a potion as you could tell, but um, really what I should have done is I should have leveled up my Q, the Dancing Grenade, because I feel like that's the one that does the more damage, not the W, the Deadly Flourish. Um, anyway, um, I got interrupted a little bit with, uh, Gene. Why don't we actually pause this for a moment so that I could talk about his mechanics a little bit. So, Gene has a pretty fun passive mechanic where he has, um, these bullets. Uh, he has four rounds within his hand cannon. And, uh, the last one deals a bit of extra damage. And I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, sure, it doesn't make sense when you think about all the fact that all the other gun people don't have to reload their guns. But... For some reason, Gene does, but you know what? It's it's kind of a fun mechanic. It's a fun little passive, I think. It's real nice. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I did get hit pretty hard, but I recover thanks to the health potions that I have. The health potion, I mean, that I stocked up on. And uh, I will definitely warn you that there will be a little bit of slow gameplay. You could see that Darius is coming around the back, and uh, I noticed a bit too late what he's doing. I get hit by the ability, but I did shoot him there. Uh, I try to retaliate, but that doesn't work. But I do go after Spider Legs, man. Get a few shots off on him. Get that minion right there as it's trying to charge at me. Be like, nope. And it's just awesome. So then I just spend a little bit of time uh, attacking the minions. Lee Sin takes down one of the mages and gets me a little bit of coin. I take down some minions. We're just basically trading minions and uh, just making sure that uh, we can def that we could level up and such, get some money. But basically, that's what we're doing right now because that's our job in lane. We're the hard hitter and we want to do well. And uh, so Lee Sin picks up that minion and... Uh, Okay, so then we also get the captive audience, which is basically a lotus trap that is set down. It could work as a ward as well, sort of, because it, it can reveal enemies within the bush that you put it in, and it can also trap them. So basically, it's my little counter to Darius's little uh, little surprise there in the bush, and so he can't do that again. And I could just uh, I could just deny him all those times where he wants to hide from me and just try and gank me. Um, 
But yeah, right now, not a whole lot is going on because uh, we're just worrying about making sure to get those last hits. Lee Sin, however, is going in for the fight, and so is Master Yi. Uh, but I'm more concerned about the mains until I see that he is at a decent HP where I think I could take advantage of it. Uh, Aaron Yeager, by the way, is definitely a name we are going to be paying attention a lot to because he's going to be crazy, especially in our encounters. Uh, oh, I didn't know Yasuo had disconnected for a time, but oh well. Anyway... So, yeah, uh, not only is it really awesome to deal with the mechanic of uh, Jean's passive, but it's also something you have to keep in mind where you strategize a little bit more on, like, when you are hitting a minion and how you strategize on those last hits, because that's going to be very important. Lee Sin's in a bit of trouble, but he gets out of there pretty good, and uh, we almost get uh, Spider Legs Man, but uh, then he kind of gets back to safety, and we are being chased by uh, Joker Knife Man. Um, again, his name, I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure he has one. I just don't know what it is. And here, I finally use one of the Lotus Traps to, uh, basically counter Darius's little, um, little shtick. I use my Flash to get out of the way of, uh, Joker, Joker Man's, uh, the, uh Joker Man's, uh, Spell, or not spell, uh, his uh, Meteor Comet uh, for his arcane stuff. Here is where Joker Man makes a huge mistake, and he just tries to dive the tower that he wasn't going to be able to win. He probably was tempted by Lee Sin, but uh, yeah, it did not work out for him as Lee Sin took the kill. Me, but, you know, I, I definitely did most of the damage, as you all saw, so, you know. Just saying, the credit probably should have been mine. Anyway. So now we're just doing our thing, making sure that we get the minions. We also throw down a little bit of Lotus Trap just for fun, just to uh, poke a little bit at Darius. But here, things go horribly wrong. Um, yeah, that really did not work out well because uh, it, my positioning was just not right. Uh, but here's Aaron Yeager. Didn't think we'd be able to see him this early, but he's going to be a bit of a threat. Uh, at the moment, he didn't seem that way right now because Ilial seem to have had him on the, the ends of his ropes, but, uh, yeah. Definitely gonna keep in mind that, uh, Aaron Yeager is definitely gonna be a problem. Uh, yeah, so, uh, d I, I am warning you. I am also warning you ahead of time, like I was hoping to do earlier, but I completely forgot. And, oh, wait, Aaron Yeager actually killed, uh, Ilial, but she killed him in charge, so it was a bit of a trade. Uh, so we go after, so we get our Q, and, uh, we, we hit him with it, and again, that probably should have been the one that I leveled up first, because it seems more like the heavy hitting damage ability. Especially considering the fact that it can also hit allies. Lee Sin definitely going for that Robo Spider booty. I help out, and, uh, he finishes him off after all the damage he dealt, so he definitely earned that one. Uh, I don't know why I put a Lotus Trap down there, because, the, of course, the minion was going to trigger it, but, you know, that's not what I thought at the time. Um, you are also going to, do be warned, you are also going to be seeing a lot of failed attempts at the curtain call, the ultimate for, uh, for Jin. Um, let's just say I'm, I'm not gonna know how to use it a few times. Um, and the reason for it is going to be, like, a couple of times I think it's to right-click, because one would normally think that to use an attacking ultimate, maybe in order to direct the attack, you would use the right mouse button, but, uh, no, that is not what happened. And, uh, so then after those couple failed attempts, I think, oh, maybe it's left-click, which it was also not. So then I had to ask Chad, like, okay, how do I use this ultimate? I'm really embarrassed, but how do I use it? And, uh, one person actually, uh, they actually didn't give me a whole lot of trouble about it. It's just, I assume people will give me trouble about it because there are people that act like that for literally no reason, even in unranked games, but I definitely was worried, but I had no reason to be worried, actually, because, uh, they, they just simply told me, oh, you just have to, like, you know, press R, you know, like the, uh, like you would to activate the ultimate, you just press R. It's like, oh, well, okay then. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I figure it out, but it's gonna come a bit late in the game, so until then, we're just gonna be seeing, uh, we're just gonna be seeing me fail a few times with my ultimate, uh, just as a heads up. And, uh, here I try to go in for the, uh, for spider legs, but Darius cuts me off, obviously. I repay him with a nice, uh, found, uh, flourish, 
uh, uh, what was it called again? A nice, uh, deadly flourish. And Master Yi and Lee Sin are both going after- here's the- yeah, this is the first failed attempt at my ult. Which, um, it, it then puts it down on cooldown, which I do find a bit ridiculous, but at the same time, whatever. It is- I- I did need something to tell me I was doing something wrong, so- And consequences do help with that. Breathe in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the most important thing, especially the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. So, here, Mr. Joker comes in to try and go after Lee Sin, but then I'm like, nope, and just shoot him with a hand cannon, a little auto-attack to drive him off. To drive the forces of evil and jokers away. And Galio comes in, and he's actually going to be doing pretty well in this game as well, because he is definitely one heavy hard hitter. Especially in this match, because he does extremely well. Uh, but of course, yeah, he and Lee Sin definitely have abilities to be able to take to wipe out minions, so it makes things a little bit more difficult for me to get those last hits, but oh well. Um, here would have been a nice opportunity for me to use my, uh, ultimate, but it is still on cooldown, and I also still don't know how to use it at the moment. Uh, I do now, but not in that moment, did I? Or for a while. Uh, so with the enemies taken care of, uh, we just go- I just go ahead and I hit the tower, uh, and, uh, just work on that. I see some opportunities to get some kills, so I think about diving. It, I get hit a little bit, and, uh, well, I pay for it just like Joker did, but- it does lead to Darius's death by Lee Sin, so my death did lead to what I would call a beneficial trait, I would say. And uh, Lee Sin is just simply trying to get away, because he don't want to be dealing with them spider legs. I mean, come on now. Who, who does? It, it's just freaky. Come on now. Anyway, so I'm back again. So basically, uh, my current situation is, uh, where am I? Um... Oh, I'm in- I, I'm the second one. Okay, so I have two deaths, and also three assists, but we can definitely- I think we could consider one of those deaths as not counting, because I didn't die to an enemy hero, I just died to a tower, which is the best situation you could go with, because as long as it's not to the enemy heroes, then that's fine, because they're not gonna get the experience. They will get absolutely nothing, and no gold, no experience, so uh, if you're gonna die to anything, die to the tower and make sure that no enemy heroes have hit you, or are, and just make sure that you die before they even attempt to get any sort of uh, contribution to your death, is the point. Uh, so, we have a little bit of a scuffle with Mr. Spiderlegs here, and uh, Lee Sin goes in to hit him, just punch him a few times, and then kill him again. But again, we contributed, so that's our fourth assist. And uh, again, we're just focusing on making sure that we get um, the minions and uh, just get the gold and experience because that's really what matters in the end when it comes to making sure that you're more powerful than your opponents and you will see the results of that later on. Uh, currently, my build is looking like I've got the uh, Dorian's Knife, I've got the uh, level 2 potion that refills whenever you go back to Fountain, um, I have the speedy boots, uh, the ones that are meant for speed. The boots is swiftness, si that give me 60 move speed. Doesn't help with attack speed, but you know what? It works, uh, because it, it helps me run faster. And, uh, then I also have a serrated dirk, which is meant to go for the, um, I can't remember what the full item was called, but yeah, my memory only works so much. I put a lotus trap down there because, well, I don't know, I, I, I just wanted to vision there, I suppose, and I didn't have a ward available, but, uh, yeah, once again, we assist on killing spider legs because, uh, we're, we're that good at assisting for the moment and dealing some heavy damage while Lee Sin comes in to finish the job. And, uh, Joker sends out his clone, and, uh, I use my deadly flourish and go after the one that I can actually hit. Uh, but, uh, ultimately I can't really do that anymore because he is out of range and Darius catches me. So I just go back to, uh, finishing off some minions, getting more money, getting more experience, and more head counts for my, uh, uh, and for some reason there's also a thing where Jean kind of stops his auto-attacking even if there are enemy minions in range, so I kind of just have to get in the moment where I realize, oh wait, I'm not attacking anything. Uh, sending out my lotus orb in the bush so that Darius cannot gank me from the bushes as he tends to do. Reload, 
finish off that minion with a nice little head blast and, uh, yep, punish Darius with a lotus, uh, trap. Uh, hit spider legs with the, uh, deadly flourish. Sorry, I just had lunch. And, uh, oh, I, I really did not notice a, a bunch of disconnects that actually happened. But, uh, Lee Sin definitely going for that Darius booty. And I'm sure underneath all of that armor, he definitely has a good one. I'm just busying myself with the, uh, minions right now. Just taking care of the low health ones. I guess maybe it was just faulty internet connections, I suppose. And, uh, Leeson's just handling all those guys, even though I probably should have gone to help him. I really wanted to take care of the minion wave, so... Then I kind of take over, and Galio... W oh, Galio was also there, so I didn't need... I don't really need to feel all that guilty about leaving him alone like that. Uh, but, now we also have an opportunity to attack Tower. We managed to get one more turret plating before the entire thing just crumbles and get some extra gold out of it, so very nice. And, uh, Galio kills Mr. Spiderlegs. Again, I don't remember his name. Maybe I should actually check so that I don't have to continue calling him Spiderlegs, but at the same... No, I, I can't do that right now. Um, so, uh, Mr. Spiderlegs, I will continue to call him, because that's, uh, that's the only way I could recognize you. Uh, so Yasuo got rid of the, uh, Drake, and, uh, it was a Fire Drake. So, uh, right now we have one Drake each. Uh, we have the Ocean Drake for our team, which restores 2.5%, missing health every 5 seconds. I decided to go back to the fountain because I have stacked up quite a bit of cash and I want to go and spend it a little bit. And also kind of make sure that I don't get ganked from the jungle because that can happen. It's happened to me plenty of times when I overextend a little bit alone, which is never a good idea. And, uh... Okay, so we destroyed the middle turret, and, uh, I'm not entire- Oh, right, because of that, I decided to go back to the fountain so that I could finish off another item. Or, or the m item that I've been working for, which is the Eclipse item. Okay, so that's what I was going for, I remember now. So, this gives 55 attack damage, 18 lethality, and 10% Omni Vamp, Ever Rising Moon. Hitting a champion with two separate attacks or abilities within 1.5 seconds deals an additional 6% max health physical damage, grants you 50% movement speed, and a 94 uh, physical shield for two seconds. And uh, Mythic, passive, grants all other legendary items 4% armor penetration, as you can read. So, uh, once I get back, I set up the Lotus Trap. I try to go for Darius, but he's already far gone, so there's nothing I can really do. So I just focus on the minions again. And, uh, I'm not sure what's being pinged right now, but, uh, I'm sure it's something. And, uh, there we go. Some nice last hits. And, uh, then we can get back to business. Uh, set up another love orb in another bush. Just to make sure that nobody tries to do a little sneak up on me like Darius is trying to do right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you forget I have those lotus traps there? Because it seems like you do that a little bit, Darius. Come on now. You have to know I have a way to counter you and your sneakiness and your heavy armor. I really have to imagine how he can sneak up on anybody, but apparently he can do that with me. I don't know. It's not like sound is a factor in this game. Don't blame me. Anyway, uh, continuing to farm uh, the minions. And uh, Darius is now handling the bottom lane alone. Probably really worried. I set down a Lotus Trap just to harass him a little bit. And, uh, I miss him with my deadly flourish. Uh, I go in, attack the tower, but he pulls me in, so I decide probably best to just run away. Lee Sin gives me a little bit of a boost in something with his ability. I don't know exactly what it does, because I've never played Lee Sin. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, now we will continue to do our thing of farming here. And, uh, here comes spider legs. What's gonna happen? Who knows? But I definitely do hit him pretty hard with that deadly flourish. And, uh, here he is. Uh, I notice he happens to go in the bush, so I use the lotus orb. Say, stay out of that bush! I don't like you being in bushes where I can't shoot you! Well, I mean, I can. I just need to have vision in the bushes first. It's just kind of annoying, you know? But, uh, here... I decide to finally steal myself a kill after, like, you know what? I've been helping you with all those other kits. 
uh, uh, all those other kills, Lee Sin, it's about time I take one. And so I kill Mr. Spiderlegs, he's the first prey that I get. I hit uh, Darius with my smoke grenade. And uh, even further, I also kind of level up my uh, Lotus Traps because I feel like those do plenty of damage and I have been using them a lot. My Deadly Flour Flourish I've been using plenty, so I have that maxed out because even though I feel like now the Smoke Grenade does more damage, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, it does work a little bit well with the uh, captive audience. So not only does it place a trap that can slow enemies down, but it could also do quite a bit of decent damage after if uh, the enemies remain within the, the radius of that trap for two seconds. So it definitely benefits to uh, level that up because it definitely does quite a bit of work, not just in the slowing, but also getting in a decent chunk of damage. And uh, so here, uh, I am buying items, uh, another item that also requires a serrated dirk. Um, I believe it was, no, it wasn't. Um, this one was more directed for Darius and, um, uh, I know the item was meant to be direct against Darius and, um, spider legs. Uh, but I decided to go out of my lane because, uh, we have enemies on the horizon and we're no longer in the laning phase. So we're just kind of making sure that we stick with the party and that we combat our enemies as one. Uh, I wasn't even needed for that fight though, but I do help out with the traps. Somewhat. Uh, but here, Yasuo is trying to go after Lee Sin, so I decide it's my opportunity to go in, while also throwing down a little bit of a Lotus Orb in case anybody sneaks up on me, but Lee Sin had it taken care of anyway. But the Lotus Trap was used on the, uh, the Rift Herald, so, uh, after that we decide to go in. For some reason, the Rift Herald is very focused on dealing with me, which is a bit unfair, but then the enemy decides to intervene, and there's Eren Jaeger, and uh, with his Yone, and uh, I hit him with a deadly flare. Spider Legs is about to die again. I try to use the ultimate again, but uh, as we know, I am very terrible at figuring out this alt because it's not really an obvious way of figuring out an alt. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I used my last bullet on that trap so that I could have all my bullets back. I hit the uh, Joker, but then Yone comes in and he starts wrecking some damage a little bit. He steals a kill on Lee Sin uh, and then just gets out of there. And uh, I hit the actual uh, Joker guy, but I ended up killing the, uh, the uh, fake because the real one left and ran away. Ma would probably make sense for uh, the real one to do that. Uh, Galio goes in after Yasuo, and uh, I get hit by Yasuo's ability, I use Deadly Flourish, and I kill the Joker, and then also kill Yasuo. So, an amazing play right there that I did. I don't even necessarily know what I did from here. But then, here comes Aaron Yeager going in for a little bit of a duke against me, and deals some, a bit of decent damage that is enough to be like, okay, time to get out. So I decide to leave. I also use a healing potion just to be safe so that I could have a little bit of extra health in case anything goes wrong. And then I head back to the fountain. And uh, again, I don't remember what item I was necessarily getting. I mean, uh, I'm not very good at memorizing all the items, but because of my double kill, I do have a 300 gold bounty. And uh, with the money that I just made, I also get a pickaxe. And, um, it, the item is definitely sounded familiar to me because I know that the next thing I need to get would have been the Critical Strike Cloak. I know that was one of the other items for the, uh, the recipe. Um, but at the same time, I just don't remember what the item is. Um, anyway. So, I go in and I catch up with the team, see if there's anything I can contribute and all of that because that's what I'm supposed to do. Aaron Jaeger with the Yone comes and he's gonna be hiding a little bit in the bush while we're doing a team fight. I send out a Lotus Claw, but I notice Yone and Yone just destroys me in that instant. And uh, then Lee Sin goes after him and uh, yeah, he just kills Lee Sin and Galio, even though he killed uh, Yone, uh, Galio is in a bit of a situation now where uh, he's being chased by the entire enemy team, so definitely a well done play right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure Galio does not make it out of this, though. I'm pretty sure that it just doesn't happen. Yeah, he, he's just dead. Uh, but Master Yi is definitely after Yasuo, his 
former student being all like, how dare you betray the teachings of Wushu, or Wuju. I don't, I don't remember what the style was called, even though I made a video on him uh, before, uh, on my original channel, which, uh, yeah, unfortunately was suspended permanently, uh, which is a shame. But uh, now we just see me walking up in the mid lane and uh, taking that uh, minion kill. One moment. And uh, I decide because nothing's really going on, I decide to go after the uh, I decide to go after the uh, little scuttlebug because uh, it would help with getting uh, vision on the Baron that you saw right there. So we definitely want to have a little bit of that, and also because it gives me some extra gold and experience. So why not? I mean, that's more of the thing that the jungler should be going after. But you know what? I didn't have anything else like uh, to do, so I just went after that one. And besides, it's a non-ranked game, so you know, it's fine. Which is a shame, because I actually did well in this game, but uh, I, I, I'm kind of sad that uh, I w this wasn't a ranked game, because that would have gotten me, that would have gotten me some, uh, um, some ranked points. So I join up with uh, Galleon and uh, help out the team, but Ilio seems to be in a bit of a tight situation, and she eventually succumbs to her demise to the entirety of the enemy team. I tried to use the ult again, and this time I think maybe I just have to wait, because in the description of the ult, it says, um, it says, uh, let's see. Uh, Jin sets up and channels, enabling him to fire four superpower shots, each dealing between, uh, uh, between eight, 181 and 725 physical damage. So the first champion hit based on their percentage missing health, and slowing them by 80% for 0.5 seconds. The four shot critically strikes for 200% damage. So, yeah. Um, again, I failed at that. Uh, Yone kills Lee Sin, and uh, then I, I actually kill him, but that was because we had him completely surrounded, and he hasn't even reached his final form. It's gonna come eventually. Um, I put a Lotus Orb, uh, Lotus Trap down, and I see Darius over there, and I'm and me and Gally are like, how about we go after him and see what happens? Uh, but he eventually makes it to the safety of, uh, the tower, so, uh, just to pass time, and just to see if maybe we could get under that tower, I help with dealing with these minions. And, uh, eventually, we got enemies coming out. We got Darius who left, and, uh, I'm going after Spider Legs because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go after him. But, eventually, he escapes behind the tower, and I can no longer chase him, so that's unfortunate. But, then I... I see my opportunity, but Ilya takes it. Um, so then we go after Darius, and, uh, Ga uh Galio takes care of Darius. I just go after the minions, and, uh, barely avoid his, uh, airborne attack. Um, I use my Deadly Flourish, but it only hits a few minions, and, uh, I just kind of take care of the rest, except for that one, because Ilya took care of that one. And, uh, I decide maybe it's time that I just get out, there's nothing- Oh, but then, Yone, coming after Ilya, I try to help, but, uh, this was not a situation I was meant to help in. I try to do a little bit of a poke, but, um, uh, it- obviously things are not gonna go well here. And you can see why. So it really does not. Uh, so I get noticed. I try to escape, um, and uh, luckily I do. Luckily they just give up the chase and are just like, "Whew! Well, that's a relief." And uh, for some reason I decide to poke that uh, creature. Um, I don't know why. It did nothing. Um, but I head back to the fountain and be like, "Okay, let's just let's just go." Who wins? Anyway, so uh, now I'm just getting my items, and the next item I get is the Collector. So this gives me even more lethality, even more attack damage, and also a good number of critical strike chance. So it also includes the death and taxes, which dealing damage that would have an enemy champion below 5% health executes them. Champion kills grant an additional 25 gold. So very nice to have, really. Um, and then... Hit Darius, do my farming thing, but then I also notice spider legs over to my right, and I think, I go for it, and I do, and I get the kill. So, after that whole moment of clarity, I just take a moment to peacefully farm up on killing minions. That, that is exactly what 
piece is. Don't question me on that. Uh, so there isn't really a whole lot of things going on, but the enemy team is gathering up in the north. Um, uh, this is this was actually when I started asking about how the fuck do I use my ultimate, and uh, yeah, I was I was desperate because I, I felt like I really needed to know, and I can't just continue on this path of not knowing and just being ignorant about how I actually use my ultimate. And uh, after figuring it out, I was like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. And uh, so Master Yi is uh, farming the jungle spots, and uh, I go over to the right for some reason, but then I realize Lee is going to be in the mid lane. Um, I don't know what I'm waiting for here, necessarily. Maybe it's because I don't really know what we're doing. Um, but uh, we do notice spider legs, and he's gone, but uh, there are also some minions I could farm, so farming minions is what I do. Uh, then I also notice Yone and Master Yi fighting, um, and Master Yi unfortunately dies, and uh, Yone puts up a pretty good fight before he eventually succumbs to his demise, but it was not by me, so oh well. So then I go after uh, spider legs, and Lee Sin takes the kill, uh, the double kill, I mean. Um, and, uh, so then we see Yasuo, but I I'm more interested in the minion last hits, because, because. And, uh, then we have the opportunity to go after Yasuo, and I take it by getting that last hit on him, with a nice little execution. And also a lotus trap underneath his feet. So a bullet- so a trap underneath his feet, and also a bullet to the face. A trap which, by the way, also explodes. <laughs> so yeah, very fun time for Yasuo. I happen to notice Joko over there uh, with Lee Sin, so I decide to help in the chase. And uh, Lee Sin just takes the kill, so it just... Is, so yeah. <laughs> I, I was really hoping to get that last hit, even though Lee Sin probably definitely deserved it more. But, you know, I can't help it. I definitely just want to go for those last hits on enemy players. It's just what I, it's just what I do. Um... But here, I don't really think there's anything else that goes on for a few minutes or so, or a few moments. I think we just head to the mid lane, because I do happen to see an enemy champion over there, so uh, I definitely feel like taking the opportunity. Uh, but then it also appears like other enemies are coming about, and uh, I use the Deadly Flourish, which misses. I go after Yasuo a little bit, and boom! Another kill, and then a double kill! For the, um, uh, for the spider legs, but then Yone shuts me down and takes me down. Aaron Yeager just definitely a beast right now. Uh, but in case you didn't know how I got spider legs, there was a trap right underneath his feet as well. And, uh, you could barely see it, uh, but it, it was there and that's how I got the kill. Uh, but then we just kind of wait for my, uh, respawning, which I don't know if it's necessarily at this point that uh, it starts taking about 40 seconds long for it to finish, uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, I'm not really sure what to commentate on for this moment. Um, we'll just we'll just wait and see what happens. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I did actually realize there was something I could have commentated on. It was basically at this point where Yone starts to become incredibly powerful. Uh, as you could tell, not only did he do an extreme amount of damage, but later on, uh, you could also tell that whatever damage he was being dealt with, um, he could actually heal that pretty good with his uh, lifesteal. I don't know what it was that had his lifesteal. I don't know if it was items or if it was... Uh, um, based on his own sort of character. We have Warmog's, uh, armor, so he has plenty of health regen. And, uh, penetration, uh, Berserker's boots, uh, Death Dance ability haste, Immortal Shield Bell. Okay, so that does give him a little bit of lifesteal, but I also kind of feel like it may have just been, uh, something else about him himself. Um... I try to go after the Joker, but, uh, he leaves, but then Yone, he comes up, and even though I think I'm safe, I wasn't, and, uh, I, I just feel the need to get out of there, but it meant absolutely nothing, because in the end, he was able to deal the final blow, even at half health, so that shows just how, how amazing his damage power is. 
But, uh, he, by the way, just to let you know, he wasn't necessarily that... He wasn't that great of a loser, let's just say. He was... He was a pretty sore loser, if I'm being perfectly honest, because he was just definitely like, uh, my team is full of idiots or something like that. He made fun of how everybody was running away from him and talked about how his team sucked and all that. It's just like, dude, just take your loss and, and accept it. Like, you can blame your teammates all you want. I mean, you did well, but that's no excuse for you to be that sore of a loser. Like, just accept the death. And besides, it's unranked. It, I mean, why do you feel the need to just be... Why do you feel the need to be like that? I, and besides, I don't understand. I mean, he did well anyway, so as long as you do well in a game, I don't see what the problem is. I, I can see why somebody could get annoyed about how they would have lost even after all the effort they put in, uh, but at the same time, it's also like, as long as you have stats you can show off, I don't see what the problem is. I mean, maybe a few problems, but for the most part, the important thing is that you do well in my opinion and um that's kind of what i i tend to think about it anyways it can be a little bit hard when it's uh something like uh, i don't know if people are blaming you for losing and uh you're doing as well as you can that could be extremely frustrating but that is basically the problem of what aaron yeager was doing because he was just simply going off on people he was just going off on everyone just because he lost and, I mean, like, yeah, you don't want to lose, but your team was close to beating us, actually. They they actually had a bit of a... They actually had a bit of a moment where they came close, and it was just frustrating to see how he was taking it so poorly. Uh, but that... I, I spoiled things a little bit. So, yes, I do win in this game. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why I got that close... Up that close either, but I do get hit with, uh, spider legs, uh alt or something but uh yeah here is definitely not a moment where i get out alive because especially since aaron yeager is there he he just annihilates me and that's the end of my story for there and uh so far yeah that's pretty much how it is uh we got Elio just having to hold off uh two people one of uh, one of those champions being a clone of the uh, Joker, and uh, yeah, just basically having a hard time dealing with uh, all of this mess. But yeah, I was hoping, uh, I was hoping they would have been able to take out the Joker. Not that they were doing terribly, but like, yeah, that's a difficult situation to be in, where you are cornered by two players. That's that can be difficult to deal with. Master Yi is just farming up on jungle, as he should be, and as always, Darius is going after our tower on the top, and Lee Sin is currently dealing with Mr. Spiderlegs, along with a few other people that seem to be coming his way if you happen to pay attention to the minimap. Um, and then I got back into the fight, and uh, as you could tell, I have quite a bit of damage, like, over here. 451 attack damage, that's... that's just wow. <laughs> Uh, but here I notice a low health enemy player, but it turns out it was a clone, so it didn't really help there. But then there's also Aaron Jaeger, so it's, so I'm def that's definitely my cue to just get out. I decide to use the ult and finally use it, but uh, let's just say I don't really get anybody with it. It does at least come with some nice concerto music, or just classic music, I don't know if it's concerto. But since Aaron Yeager is no longer around, I just take the opportunity to just farm a little bit. But then I notice there's a bit of a team fight in the jungle, so I think maybe I should get involved. And I go after the Yasuo, I kill him, but uh, and then I decide to go after Aaron Yeager. But as you could see, that lifesteal is just doing him benefits. And uh, I'm just able to do absolutely nothing to that at the moment. Especially with everybody having been dead at the moment. But yeah, uh, Yone is just an absolute beast in this game, and this actually made my team consider uh, surrendering. I didn't surrender, by the way, because I felt like we had a chance. We just needed to deal with Yone. And uh, it, yeah, it, it's pretty obvious to see why Yone would be a huge concern, uh, because he is incredibly powerful in this match. And uh, definitely, being, uh, definitely being led by an amazing player, just kind of needs a bit of a better attitude when it comes to like maybe losing in an unranked game by the way I don't know if I remember that but I don't know 
So Darius takes the drake and kills him. Or her. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but Darius kills the drake and scores his team another uh, cloud drake bonus. Uh, we also have three drakes, two of them cloud drakes. I don't know why there were so many cloud drakes for this match, but there were definitely a lot for some reason. Uh, but anyway, um, I decide to throw down a Lotus Trap. I, uh, notice there's a team fight, but I think about going back to mid lane, uh, but then I just go after Spider Legs. And, uh, Master Yi takes care of him. I go after Yasuo. Um, I was thinking about fighting Yone a little bit, but then I was like, nah, that ain't a good idea. So I just help Master Yi with Yasuo, but... Here's a good part, where I go after, uh, well, actually, no, it isn't. I thought it was, but, uh, no, it, it was not. Uh, but maybe Master Yi might be able to take care of it, who knows. Uh, Yone is on pretty low health, so he is definitely going for it, but, uh, yeah. I, I think it's, this is just where Yone escapes, so, uh, it hurts so bad. Uh, but yeah, um, Yone still being a beast. Still being an absolute monster, but it's also kind of where this, at this point, where I am trying to build up to another item. Um, I also have a, a new, a couple new items that I didn't show. I have the Infinity Edge, which is perfect for building up on critical strikes, so 70 attack damage and 20% critical strike chance, and perfection. If you have at least 60% critical strike chance, you gain 35% critical strike damage. So that is exactly what I have, and then I also have Rapid Fire Arm, and uh, Darius dies. Um, but, Rapid Fire Arm gives a 35% attack speed and 20% critical strike chance, plus a 7% move speed. So I get Energize, moving and attacking will generate an Energize attack, and Sharpshooter, your Energize attack applies 120 bo bonus magic damage. In addition, Energize attacks gain 150 range bonus, uh, uh, 150 bonus attack range. So, that's definitely a huge buff to me. I'm not entirely sure why I pause over here and just stand there, but, um, anyway, so, um, there is a bit of a, uh, there is a bit of a commotion in the jungle, so I go in to help out, I hit the clone, and, uh, I decide to just go after him, uh, not knowing that he was a clone, obviously, but, you know, Spider Legs Man decides to come in for some reason, and, uh, so I just completely go after him, and satisfied in the fact that, at the very least, I took down Spider Legs. Uh, but Aaron Yeager does, of course, kill me, because, well, what else do you expect when I'm that low of health and he's in the radius of attacking me and killing me? Uh, so killing spider legs was the best I could get out of the situation, and I was at least satisfied with that. But our team ends up losing that team fight, specifically because of, uh, Yone, and, uh, also because of health from the other guys, but Yone definitely doing the most, like, just, yeah, as you can tell, he's just... A monster. He is just insane, really. Um, but right now, I have a pretty even kill-to-death ratio, 10, 9 to 15, and it's kind of here where I, I feel the need to counter that, uh, I need to counter that life steal. So I am attempting to get Mortal Reminder by starting with the Executioner's Calling, which does at least help a little bit with the life steal. So it gives a little bit of attack damage, 15, and also the Rend. Dealing physical damage applies 40% Grievous Wounds to champions for 2 seconds, and Grievous Wounds reduces the effectiveness of healing and regeneration items. So it will definitely help in dealing with his regeneration, and it will also help in dealing with his lifesteal. So his healing is going to not necessarily- it's going to be, um, let's just, uh, let's just say it's gonna be, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, it's going to be nerfed, basically. I'm going to nerf the healing and lifesteal that Yeno has. And uh, it is basically from when I get the mortal reminder that things start to get better. Or, I mean... Well, maybe it's here. I mean, we do have the entire team on him because we recognize, okay, Yone's a threat. Uh, we want to take care of him and we want to... And the best way to do that is by taking care of him as a team while he's alone. So we go after him. Uh, but Yasuo also seems to go in the way, so I decide to go after him. Yasuo foolishly decides to attack me, and it leads to his demise to Galio. Uh, so I go once again following the team, and, uh, I see Yone's little stopping point, and we decide to take advantage of that. And, uh, here, 
We get Yone. It was not my kill, but it was but it was satisfying for the sake of the team because damn was he an absolute pain to deal with. Uh, so we kill him. Lee Sin takes the glory of the kill. And uh, I go over to the Baron because we have decided that it is our chance to go ahead and deal with this and uh, give our team a little bit of a bonus uh, by killing the Baron. And there goes Baron Nashor. Goodbye. I return back to the uh, base because um, our base is under attack. See, this is where things start to get a bit close. And the enemy nearly takes care of our Nexus, uh, but luckily we came back just in time to be able to stop it from being destroyed by Spider-Legs Man, of all people. Uh, no, wait, hold on. That made it sound like he was terrible. I am really sorry, that's not what I meant. Um, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, that is basically what happens. Uh, so I take the, after taking care of him, we take the opportunity or the time to just simply farm and be able to give our base a little bit of breathing room and uh, just continue from there. Uh, I decide to go to the bottom lane because there is uh, the uh, robot thing and I wanna be able to deal with that. And also just to make a little bit of extra money so that I can get Mortal Reminder. And uh, we also, we finally got a dragon and it's another Cloud Drake. <laughs> there are just so many Cloud Drakes coming here to die. That is just, it's just sad, it makes me sad. But here I just kind of do a little bit of farming before I finally decide, okay, let's just go ahead and join up with the crew because we've farmed here enough and I think that's plenty of space to give for our bottom lane uh, until our, um, our thing is back. And I'm not entirely sure what that music was about though that just occurred there, but um, we do get the opportunity to attack the mid tower because the entire enemy team is over in the top lane dealing with the enemies there. So me and Iliao go after the mid tower. And uh, apparently she seems to be very good at damaging the tower, but I take the final hit on the tower, so I get credit for it. And uh, then we also take care of the inhibitor. So now we've even the odds for the mid lane where now our mid lane has robot mechs as well. To take that. Uh, but here is where uh, we now start to deal with our enemies, but at the same time, eh, I think uh, I think it's a pretty good time to run. Um, you know, uh, kind of gets back to safety, but I decide to take the opportunity to go after the other heroes, and I kill Yasuo with a nice little lotus trap. And uh, I then try to go after Yone, but he escapes. I use my ultimate and I actually hit him a few times with my ultimate. You can't really see it, I know, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not enough to kill him, unfortunately. I do go after uh, Ergots, I believe that is actually Spider-Leg's name, but uh, he does, he kind of makes it to safety. Um, we, get, we go ahead and we kill Mr. Jokerface. Uh, Ilya gets the credit because she killed the actual one. Uh, we destroyed one of the red turrets and uh, I take care of the other. And now it's just Yone, who definitely wrecked some damage on me. Uh, but after getting some distance away from him, we are able to take him down, and I am the one to deal the final blow and shut him down. So that was extremely satisfying. And then we go and take care of Ergots here, because he's my kill. And then Darius comes out trying to resist our advance, but Yasuo comes in after he tries to make a strategic retreat. I throw down a lotus trap that didn't really do anything. But uh, after having a little bit of fun here, I, I decide that it is probably time to just kind of get out of there. We've done plenty of damage. We've been able to kill their most powerful team member, and uh, I, I definitely think to myself that it is a good time to take a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a break. And also maybe just to finish off that mortal reminder so that I can better counter uh, Yeno's uh, lifesteal and healing. So it should be at this moment. Uh, yep, mortal reminder is within the inventory right here. 
Uh, mortal reminder. 20 attack damage, 25% attack speed, 20% critical strike chance, and 7% movement speed. So that basically puts us at an 80% critical strike chance. And it also offer, offers the sepsis. Dealing physical damage applies 40% grievous wounds to enemy champions for 2 seconds. Dealing 3 consecutive attacks to an enemy champion enhances this effect to 60% grievous wounds against them until the effect is allowed to elapse. So that only makes... So it offers even more of an opportunity to be able to deal with Yenno's uh, lifesteal. I just have to hit him enough with my bullets and make sure he dies. Or, well, not dies, but, you know, hit him enough so that it actually affects him. Here is just kind of like making sure we get the last few bits and just farm in a little bit. Uh, Urgots is definitely not interested in fighting because, uh, well... He's just not ready to- he's just not ready to deal with it, but that's not his choice to make, and he dies to my ultimate when I finally get to use him to show it off, but, you know, does kind of get a little bit of revenge on me and takes me down. Uh, so this is kind of a sign for Lee Sin to just kind of back up a little bit, but Yasuo is taken down by Galio. Yeno is the last defender for his team. Uh, although there is someone coming in to help out with the minions, and that is Joker Face. I don't know why I said face with that, but he does remind me a little bit of the Joker. Uh, Galio takes down his clone and then goes off after the real Joker and then finishes him off. And, you know, just gets absolutely stomped on and we, we win the game, basically. And it just ends there. Uh, so yeah, that is basically how this game went, and uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at our final uh, record. Uh, our record goes as 14, 10, 20. So 14 kills, 10 deaths, maybe maybe 9, since only 9 of those were by hero champions. Um, and uh, But you know, I don't really care. And uh, 20 assists along with 194 minion kills. So that is a pretty good record in my book. But why don't we go ahead and take a look at Aaron Yeager. Uh, is this... I assume this is probably him. You know, just... Just kind of thinking that might be it. I mean, consider... And also considering the fact that, that those are the two same uh, respawn timer cooldowns. Uh, so I assume that, yes, that is, uh, uh, that is Aaron Yeager and... Yeah, he, he was a damn beast. He was one hell of a beast with 34 kills, 7 deaths, and 5 assists. So, yeah, I definitely do say that he is a pretty badass, pretty amazing player. It's just, maybe work a little bit on your mood a little bit, instead of just lashing out at everybody because he lost. Though, then again, I don't know it, how many times he may have lost in the past, and maybe this is just you... Um, kind of letting it out. I know I have those moments sometimes where I just kind of lash out a little bit at the wrong people. It actually happened to me in the League of Legends games where um, I, where my support was actually just kind of like uh, give me the uh, triple dot uh, ellipses whenever I died or like are you lagging or things like that. And uh, I, I lost a bunch of times before and uh, he was also like, you know, you can switch with me if you want. And I mean like that that kind of seemed like a pretty decent request, but at the time, I was also dealing with a lot of frustration, so I kind of took it as like, oh, you think I'm not good enough to be in the in my position as I am as Ash? And uh, eventually I do get better at the game, and it's kind of in that moment where I'm just like, uh, where I just kind of lash out and uh, just get defensive about the whole thing. I definitely felt bad about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically kind of what happened, and that is the end of this video, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give a like button a step if you did, subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for thee, and until next time, rest in peace. Bye!